Yeah, and we're straight into the first game, by the way. So we've we are. got three of the players selecting Greed. I really Brashnikor like that. looks like he's taking his time. Yes. So it might be a case of see what Mr. Boz has and then try and pick something to cover. Very, and he very interesting. Taken he's taking redraw. Um, I know Barash is uh, a player favoring redraw. Um, he's got a really good roll with his first roll, though. That's what it's this is right. always what happens with redraw. Always, if you take the safe yeah. route and you take redraw, it's always you always like get the know, perfect roll with your first. Uh, that's true. That's true. I was actually discussing exactly about this today uh, with my teammate Busty. If it's if it's a thing to one player pick read and the other taking redraw because yesterday for example we saw four players or three players picking redraw and one going for the lock-in which is like a yeah. super defensive weight uh, but since in diamond uh, in the grandmaster division you won't get far with playing defensive so you have to play yeah, super yeah. aggressive uh, greed is going to be the option for most players so i'm unsure yet if it's the best to do double greed or if actually greed and one going redraw might be the better option i think probably the best option is something like one player takes greed and then you kind of talk about that role for 10 yeah. seconds before the other person decides yes so if the first greed role is a strong role you can then the second player again. can take greed yeah if the first greed role is a weak role then the second player maybe has to be a bit safer absolutely agree on that um as we can see at the moment, we see almost all safe openers. There's no uh, five worker opener on wave one. We have quite some differences though. We have two on Vazi and Toykan. They're looking not too great on seven at the moment, for example. Why Mr. Bus and Barashan Court? Well, they might have a weakness on five. Um, so this is absolutely going to be interesting. Yeah. And Barash, he does have the butcher, which obviously is. The best thing you can have with the nightmare um no real great tanks on five though he probably aimed for something like a butcher and an infiltrator there yes. it looks like everyone stays four workers um, no sense so far so we didn't have a king up on one everybody's saying four workers super passive start into this and i think this is the best time to ask you guys out there who do you think is gonna make the finals is it basnukor or is it um not sure yet which team is yeah. going to make the finals what's your guess i tell you what now, now that we're kind of a couple of waves into it why don't i start a prediction for the chat oh yeah sure just go ahead so i can while while that is happening i can give my opinion um personally i think uh, barash and mr bus are actually gonna make it based on rating i feel um they're highly favored uh mr bus is high at the moment i think he's around two 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 three uh, so quite quite a lot of elo on him. Barash is not doing Mr. too Buzz bad. Mr. Buzz is always well. high, dude. Have you but, seen his stream? Yes. But Mr. Buzz is always high. Have you I seen know, his stream? Sure. But <laughs> I mean, most players are. I know from a lot of players uh, playing high. Um, but Toykan actually, he made huge progress. I just watched it the ladder today or yesterday, and he was like rank seven or something. So yeah, he you really know why? turned up his his grind as well. So um, he it's had gonna be a, a tough one. He had a, a 20 win streak. Oh, that's sick. Damn, 20. I, yeah. I'm not sure if I ever had 20. I remember I had 18 win streak, uh, 18, 18 solo win streak, which I already find quite good when, when I made good. my 2 8 two seasons ago. But 20 is impressive. 20 is insane, dude. I mean, it was on yes. his duo account. Yeah. Sure. Um, but. I think he plays with Yog Yog actually, which would be pretty interesting yes, if does, those two face each other in the final. That would be that would be a nice fight because playing duo. They've you been laddering a lot, a lot of, lately. A, a lot of um, yeah strategies. Your then opponent, usually your teammate, is going to do for so every player has kind of its identity, and if you're playing a lot in a team, you will know how they're playing. For example, if I I'm playing Busty, it's probably more Busty playing me, he would exactly know what I'm doing in some situations, uh, which could yeah, punish yeah, me yeah. super hard. Sure, sure. So, Barash is sending on wave 4, which is... I mean, Toykan's really strong here with his consort. He is, absolutely. I, I think he should hold. Um, he should, yes. The Dino is going on the Asseria, but the two consorts tanking perfectly for it. Uh, Toykan yeah, had to stay uh, low workers, though. Fine. 
he had to stay. He stayed low workers, but yes. he's going to hold here, and that makes it worthwhile. Yes. And remember, push... Barash did leak 50% uh, on wave three. Yeah, which was actually not not as you wanted to see. Um, I think he could have done a lot better. He decided to not split the wave, and I think this was exactly the problem um, he faced in the end. So. You see like this without the butcher that was his build for three if he's just deciding yeah. to go for the pb into the split personally i think he, he would have held a little bit better also look after um holding that send so toykin receives the hundred on four which he holds yeah. like easily and he just pushes straight up to seven workers yeah so he stayed low for a couple of waves but now he's leading the whole game i really like it um I really like this play. He's even shifting 25 gold, so not adding another bus. Uh, in case he's getting a resend um, to push another worker or just to build a bigger unit like an Yosora or an Antler, uh, we see in his in his role. Um, but now it's getting interesting, and Barash just lost his nightmare because of no split, and this is awful. He's gonna look huge. Oh shit. That's too hardcore. Leaks already on Barosh Nukor and falling behind with a nightmare like this is not what you want to do because nightmare is your early mid game build. Yeah, you don't want to really run... struggling now. Actually, yeah, you don't want to uh, leak too much there, and he already leaks twice over forty percent. You've got to think that this is kind of a result of him deciding to go zero four against Toiken. Like he's playing to starve Toiken, but it looks like yeah. he's just starving himself a lot more. Yes, I think. Both situations could have been a lot better for him, though, if he just decided to split. So splitting is so oh, yeah, important, especially with Nightmares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he just yeah. went for the split on 3, he had it on 5 then, it would have been a lot better. Um, and he might have actually held 3, probably not 5, but 3 was actually holdable. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I really do like, um, by the way, Mr. Buzz. Uh, yeah, Mr. Buzz. Nine workers already, having a really strong role. Antler, really good unit, one till six. Then after that, the, the Coiler comes into play, being good seven and eight. So he has two units covering uh, the waves one till, uh, one till eight, uh, quite good. Um, and even in the later game, they are insane units, especially if you see at his role, he's having Star Caller Gate, so he's gonna have Star Caller White Main gate which is insanely strong oh that is and, and he has the seed as well to go yes. with it so he has a, a lot of potential in the late game and that's why i like the i don't know if they planned it like this but i like him being aggressive to just yeah get into this game get it rolling get this income and he will just snowball super hard into the mid and late game if he continues yeah, like yeah. this but let's have a look at this wave now because i think toykin is looking pretty vulnerable and he is yes. going to get 140 sen now. He's going to be two brutes and yes, a snail. Um, he just decided to build a Varg instead of yeah, another I, Wanderer. I mean, what else can he build, though? Look oh, he, didn't, he, he doesn't have nothing. the Wanderers anymore. Oh, I didn't see yeah. that. Oh, yeah, I he's looking he, he's really looking bad. He's looking really weak here. He is, and he's getting the double brute, which is a really nice send against him. Um, so I really look forward to seeing this. And same... We see Vasir playing the Deep Coiler Serpent, which is such an awful play. I, I hate, yeah, I hate me saying this, but he wasted. just... Yeah, the Serpent is just 90 gold of wasted wasted money. It's only good for tanking, but the damage... Look at this. The Coiler is always two-hitting yeah. the big creeps, and the Serpent just making a hit on it, which is not doing anything uh, in the He end. actually got kind of lucky, though, because they were attacking separate units for yes. a lot of the wave. So Vizier will hold here. Toykin 74% leak. That's pretty impressive. But we did know that he was vulnerable here. Um, and these guys are still saving. So it might be a pack leader on eight. Yes. Uh, this is really uh, a strong uh, strategy you can you can go for at the moment. Pack leaders on eight. Probably the best early, early game send you can do at the moment uh, against almost any build. Even banana bunks. Uh, struggle sometimes against the send because it's just giving you so yeah. much uh, DPS increase. Um, with the pack leader is just absurd missing. value on wave eight. It's it's yeah. so strong. Like it it's adds a strong. lot of DPS to the wave, and then it also adds a two thousand HP tank. Exactly. So what's going to happen is it won't tank first. It's going to walk out. Let's look at Barashnikov's lane. It'll walk out. A couple of Cobras will die, and then the pack leader is going to tank both nightmares and the APS and the veteran while the wave kills like everything 
Yeah. And I don't the worst even... case scenario is that he leaks that pack leader on like 1%. Yes, that would be awful. 90% leak. What is. Oh, Mr. Buzz going for the second antler, not predicting this, the 8 cent. Oh, this is gonna be risky. Let's see how it pays off. By the way, while we're just seeing a big send, two thirds of the viewers decided Buzz Nukor is gonna win game number one, which is not looking too good for them if they're leaking big here. As we Ooh, see it in and the they are leaking snipe. big. Ooh, but both cleared the pack leaders already, which is a little bit of a good yeah, sign, but, but this is still huge leaks. They're huge leaks. Yeah. Does he get one more? He does no, not. Oh, he's got 16 creeps. Oh. That's such... A... Oh, this is so much king damage. Yeah, this is like dropping them to 30 or lower, um, I would I would uh, say. And Barash is now officially out of this game. He's low yeah. in workers. He's very down uh, in value <laughs> because he just pushed to 8. And he workers. can't even afford to push after this send here. Yeah, he so just, even he after receiving a send, and... he stays on 8. Yeah. Oh damn! This is almost a G. Wait, is this not? It's not a G. Oh wow! They live, but I mean, they're so. Oof. There's, there's. They can't afford though. another leak. I mean, there's no better time for Dark Ritual or Savior now, <laughs> so they have Savior at least, yeah. and they still have the late game with Mr. Bus. Um, even though Toy Khan, he now has LODs, White Main, very nice comp as well. Yeah, but Mr. Buzz's late game is, is the best so far. And he's I not... mean, they just have such a big gold advantage over I'm not sure yet, don't they? After yeah. That leak on 8 was huge. Yeah, it was. But in the same time, we have to mention that Mr. Buzz is still holding 200 Mythium. So they did not try to protect themselves Ooh. on the last wave. So they could have afforded a lot of king upgrades uh, or even send to get some more uh, gold to buy. They're still sitting on their big money, and this might. I wonder be if they go chance. ten or do like an all-out play for eleven. Maybe well, you cannot really send against Vazir on ten, right? He already has a deep coil, he has a sea serpent, and he has a, uh, a berserker. So he's looking yeah. as good as you can be on ten. Uh, but Barash is nine. even leaking no sends here. This is uh, not bad. He though. didn't spend any gold here. He shifted yeah. everything. I think that's that's actually a fine move. He might want to go for the doppelganger, um, so he had to shift for this. And maybe he wanted to uh, yeah, show their weak and bait the sense on 10, so they can go 11 without getting punished there, because I see Mr. Buzz being quite good on 11. He's probably going, going to do the second deep coiler, and he should be fine. He's fine here, but again, pretty weak on 11, and so is the Nightmare. Oh, oh he, he's not doing the bunk, he's really doing the doppelganger. I like this decision for this wave, obviously, but 11 is going to be... I mean, they're not looking too good on 11, do they? Really weak on 11. And look at um, Barash. Like, you said a couple of waves ago that he was out, and you can really see that with his 8 workers and his 1,200 yeah. value and his 69 income, dude. Like, he's... He's really struggling. Okay, From but those couple of early leaks on three and five just really kind of sabotaged his whole game. From that point, we we saw Barash took already the re uh, re roll. He doesn't have a tier one anymore. He doesn't have the nightmares anymore. This is now time for Manuel to go for the re roll. Why? They just forfeit. They straight up forfeit. Oh, why do you do this? I don't know. What they they could at least try the same. Yeah, on try 11, to raise. Right? Oh, dude, why are you... Oh, that hurts. Yeah, that really hurts. Oh, why would you ever surrender uh, in such a game? I think they should have at least tried. Yeah, sure, just to try to raise them. I mean, they could have sent 500. It could have actually been a Even race. if you think you're dead, like, even if you think you lose, you try it, right? If it's only one more wave, you might as well try yeah, it. Yeah, sure. Like, if it's one wave, as we just saw it, try it. So let's hope for them. They're doing better in the second game. Um, I did not see any mastermind options yet um, from Mr. Bus and Barash Nukor. So let's see um, how they're going to decide this time. Redraw for Barash. Oh, it looks like both took redraw. Um, uh, everyone else is on greed. So right. Barash takes redraw again, but oh, the other Mr. three Bus players has, are all on greed. Yeah, true. Oh, and it looks like they're, they're going to see the wave 11 soon. Um, so we can do the new bet afterwards. 
But so mm -hmm. far, we already see Vazir having three nice units that synergize with Vark. Really nice roll so far. Oh, he's got a really nice he roll. Could, he yeah, could that's use a the very good in the situation, but otherwise, yeah. really nice roll. Um, Toykan, well, he's not like. I don't like his roll, to be honest. He, like his, he only has two, two sources of damage, which is a Seri and Halo yeah. so far. And he's super yeah. vulnerable on magic waves. Yes. Like he's really vulnerable on magic waves. He's not looking too good. While same for Mr. Buzz, he, he's lacking the tanks. So he has, yes, he has this Wild Shroom. Wild Shroom is not really a unit, uh, but he has only a few tanks uh, afterwards. So I I don't see Mr. Buzz and Borish Nukor here leading role-wise because Vazi is actually having a really strong role. And this is so, game one for them. Okay, so I think I can end the prediction that now, would right? Be, that would be awesome if you can start a new one as well. Yeah. Uh, wow. Barsh did just leak. I mean, he, he did decide to go for the greedy opener, Windhawk, Polywalk. Um, this is leaking, always, um, but not always that much. So he leaked three and a half creeps. Mm -hmm. This hurts. This hurts a lot because now he's actually missing one gold <laughs> to go for the. Oh, violet. even if he sells it. Yes, he was missing exactly one gold with a sell, uh, uh, which is awful. You I don't think want he this needs to this happen. to be a devil fish here, right? It might uh, be. Okay, it doesn't matter but... on two. On two, it doesn't matter. Okay. But uh, what does matter is the fact that he's staying on three workers. Yes, he did stay on three workers because he wanted the violet out. Um, like he has a chance now of going four workers now, but I. As I know, Barash is probably gonna stay on those th three workers and now taking the just finish the violet safe yeah. uh, the safe route. This is not what you want to do. You don't want to stay on three workers that long in such an important game. You have to greed, especially when you're sending against an Asaria, which is an early game monster. So you want to build up the pressure here. And, and exactly, the prediction is up. Oh. Like this, just look at Toycon. He was just able to push now five workers, getting sense from a three worker opener. So yeah, he's yeah. just getting such a free ride thanks to this, yeah, bigger league. He'll just push league. another one. When he sees this Violet, he'll just push another one. He will. Because up until now, one. he didn't know if Barash was three or five yeah. workers. But when he sees this, he knows that he had to stay three. Yes. And he will only be able to uh, receive a 60 cent so far unless Vazi is leaking um, this will let him push another worker if he's aware of the fact that Barosh is actually three workers only but yeah, he should be so, so Vazir he's not great here I mean he's he got the infiltrator the which somehow. is a good unit I see him leak um, he didn't snipe the brute he is sniping the brute yeah but it's too yeah, late now okay. I think he should be uh, fine then and if the oath no, 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 he's not because alive. the oath breaker is dying ah, okay, he okay. didn't snipe the brute uh, soon enough so this is actually a long wave now and Good that Toycan didn't push because yeah. now it might be a 80 cent from Barash. Oof. Oh, he's, he's missing another gold for the work now. It's not going good for him today. Yeah, that's painful. That's Ooh. really painful. Yes, it is, it is. But this is the first small gold lead and Mr. Buzz is having a super strong push. I love to see this. He's taking action and really trying to grind... Yeah, everything out of this Asaria he can. So he really tries to make to make this game. He's, he's getting a dino now, so um, let's see how yeah. he holds. Oh, I don't. I really don't like that. No, I really, not really don't like that. But the good the good fact is that it's actually walking in front. Um, so if he's so you you need something to take the aggro away from that priest. It will. It will. The elite archer will tank. Okay, but then isn't that even worse for him? Um, yes. But not on four. But afterwards, it's uh, it's worse. Um, so we see it here. The elite are just tanking, but he's not tanking enough. He might not be yeah. tanking enough. Kill the dino. You need to get that spell. Oh, no! Oh shit. no! It he's wasn't leaking tanking everything enough now. Here. Damn! I oh, think he, no, he, his split is too low. Oh yes, his split is too low. He had to hire his split half a square um, to make it work, and then I think his elite archer, archer would have tanked a lot more. This is yeah. huge punishment. Um, for those six workers, while Vazir and Toykan this time holding, 
Well, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is two workers for them, while uh, I see Mr. Boss and Barash still staying on six workers. And Barash is not looking too great on next wave either. He can't build anything actually besides polywalks at the moment, unless he's sending, which you don't and, really want to And it's really do. hard as well, like just mentally speaking, after you've had a really bad game, like that first game, to yeah. come into the second game and have like a bad early game. Yes, so and then you have like 80 six to seven four. gold. Then you're here yeah. having six to seven gold with the only unit you can build is polywalks. Yeah. He doesn't need to build here, though. He doesn't because he doesn't get a send. But if he got a send, he should have built for sure. Oh. And look what they've just spotted here as well. Um, That's not looking good. That's not looking good for Mr. Buzz here. Um, on the next wave, for example. As, as I said before, Mr. Buzz is lacking those tanks. And without tanks... Even an early game unit like the Asaria won't do a lot. I've played one we have game. Bucklers. Like, bucklers are really good tanks. Yeah, they're fine, but only for the early game. What what are you doing with bucklers against like later waves, 12, 13, 14, 15? They're just gonna run just over build, them. Just build more of them. Yeah, sure. <laughs> just build more but, of them. Honestly, buckler is is just a really cheap, cost effective tank. It is, it is, but he Look, really has to concentrate on those XX as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the worker situation, though. It's awful. And, I, I really don't yeah. want to think about this. I'm I'm pretty scared now for Bosnikov. It feels like this game is starting to slip out of their control. There's there's only one chance, I think. Um, this is break Toycan before he actually gets the Asaria. He cannot get the Asaria next wave. So the first first wave he can get it is actually set, uh, 8. Because he overpushed. And is now fearing uh, a leak here. So maybe try the undercut on seven, which is not yeah. gonna work because Barash just king up. Well, Barash doesn't really have any Mythium. The most he can send is like yeah. one hundred. So he With... does send here, but it's gonna be lizards, and that's not gonna do anything. I mean, Toycan is on a really low value with really bad units, right? So he does not have one good unit for seven, and he does not have the Asaria. Keep that in mind. Yeah. So Toycan is really not looking good. He can send 160 here. He does with the Mimic, but he's still... Oh, he can with, with selling some polys, he can actually go for the Asaria now. Oh, without even. It's it's cheaper than I thought. So Barash needs his bunk oh. here. This is it. This is it. There's only one, one weak way for Toycan and Vazir coming, which is 10. If you don't make 10 work while you're holding, this is, this is game. And I wonder a little bit, what is this temping, Tempest doing here for Barash Nukor? Um, it doesn't look like he's he's doing the Leviathan towards the Violet anytime yeah. soon. And the Tempest getting sniped very early uh, due to the Polywalks. Whew. It's going to be tough. It's yeah. going to be very tough. It's a rough one, but his bunk is doing a good job there. It tanked the wave pretty well. Yes, he should hold here at least. But I don't see Mr. Boss holding against the Mimic. He has he has no. a very tough, uh, tough well, he's, time. He's actually doing okay. It looks he's like doing he okay, should kill yes. sure. everything apart from the Mimic and like one group. But there's now they're in a situation like you cannot afford, allow yourself to leak any any more wave because you're so far well, behind. This is this is good. This is something. Vizier's forty percent leak is, here is, is like. Is. But yeah. I mean, just look at this, dude. Vasi. Vazi's biggest Look problem now is that he actually re-rolled his tier 1 a little bit too early. I do this sometimes myself, and depending on the worker count of your opponent, this can really backfire hard. So if, yeah. if your cheapest unit is 80 in wave 8, which is like less than, uh, like eight, this is more than half of the wave bounty, you're really limited to what you can do actually having less than 80 gold because either you shift it or you push a worker so yeah, this can yeah, this yeah. can be really painful in the early game but at the moment it doesn't really look like Vazi has to be afraid with Manuel being on eight workers and Toykan is just huge now he is he's got 12 workers and Boz only has eight so Toykan 50 percent more workers than than Mr Boz what is what is Barash doing here? Oh, he's going to do the star caller under the violet and then placing violets to the tempests and upgrading them to leviathans. That's his play. 
He's like I mean, building that's... 30 waves ahead. He he doesn't have time yeah. to finish this build. Till that's they what die. I mean. So my my problem with that is like that's a good late game build. But at the moment, you're you're not looking to see the late game. You're looking no, to get through yes. the next couple of waves. So he, he really planned, like, forward, straight forward to... Like, he already had, has this game plan, what he wants to follow for the very late game. I really like this because this, this gives us a signal that he's actually aware of what he's doing, that he has, yep. that he has this overall plan. But he's a little bit too optimistic uh, with being that bad in the game as a team. Yeah so far and the the thing is as well right because barash and buzz they want to send on wave 10 yes i like this but i like this decision because now this is the clutch way for them barash should hold this they need to hold barash they will really hold. really need to hold and these are Ooh, these are huge maybe not, <laughs> maybe not with a disciple <laughs> disciple is not great for him here no, i mean the send isn't great either and look at this here. it's only a drake and a dragon but I, can actually, probably to come. I can actually see mr buzz Hold or at least do really good if the Axeg is tanking enough. Like, he can have a really nice damage split on Canopy and Axeg Royal Guardian, uh, Royal Guard, with like only leaking a little bit, which is would, which mm -hmm. would be perfect for them. And Barsh is holding. If this is the case, they're in the perfect situation to make this huge send on 10 and maybe make the comeback. But the egg is still 2000 natural HP, right? Yes, so it's not and terrible. It's a little yeah. bit too too many units on the right side. So this is not only a small league, but it's actually a big league. Um, he's still doing better though. than I thought he would, honestly, with the egg. Oh, I think he's actually doing worse than I thought, personally. He could have had a better split um, like this. But it's it's all right. Barash is barely holding. Um, so Barash does hold, but only with his disciples, so yeah. he won't clear anything up in the mid. Maybe one more. And this is going to be some king damage. Maybe one more thanks to a spell. Maybe not. <laughs> not if he runs forward like that. Nope, not like this. Um, it's still oh, fine, boy. though. If they now make the big king damage, which is their wave to shine, um, I can see the comeback. Boy. Because gold-wise, they don't look too far behind. They have the value. They have... And they don't send. Wow. Hmm. Well, now, maybe they're doing the wow, 11 wow, wow, send wow. now this time. Yeah. But 10 was the I wave know, for them, dude. 100%. 10 was their wave. They're looking so much better on 11 than 10. Yeah. What do they send on wave 11? But I, like, and there's no, there's no like, all-out assault or anything to help yes, them out. Yes, but there's no defensive spell either. So the only... Well, like, there's the Titan, best which is perfect for the Azaria. It is for the Azaria... But Toycan then has to decide between am I going to do the Lioness with with um, Titan or am I actually going to do the Orchid? So this is yeah. this is a really tough situation. Um, Avasius, sorry, Avasius in for next wave. But Titan, Asaria is just just such a monster. Um, it's gonna be rough for them. It's gonna be really rough. And do they hold themselves here? Yeah. Um, Barash is holding, and I see Mr. Bus holding as well. Yes. Okay. 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 No, go no, 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 no. They're going 12. That's awful. Vazir's looking so good on 12. Oh, no. What is happening? Who do you think looks good on 12? Well, Vazir had a chance to look good on 12. <laughs> not but anymore. He has the LOD here. Not anymore. Yeah. I actually was hoping... But of he's course, going... he's building for 11, not 12. He doesn't yes. know that they're Yeah, sure, here. sure, sure. I just was hoping he's going to do the Lioness with Titan here. Uh, to use the Titan the best, uh, but he's actually yeah. trying to scale for the late game as well. And I think a lot of people uh, try to scale too hard, like they try to force the scale a little bit too hard, uh, and now yeah, giving away exactly, all their because... potential. This is just yeah. a free a free send for Mr. Buzz and Toyka now on a wave whenever they want. They could even try to thirty now. Which is not a good wave to go, but they could even go longer now and make the all in on any on any late game wave or fourth oh, even. They're starving so hard though. I don't yes. really want to see them save any longer. Look at no. this. The income numbers there. Actually, it was time on ten to send. And it should have been yeah, yeah, yeah. a ten fourteen, for example. This would have been a good play. Um ten fourteen was a really nice play, or a ten twelve into hard push fourteen, or even a ten twelve sixteen, something like this. But what mm -hmm. they're doing at the moment, I'm not a big fan of it. And I'm not so sure if it need pays to off. See, we need to see massive leaks now for this to be worth it. Yes. So there's a Linus already from Vazir. Now really... 
a really bad situation with his gold. Look at this again. He cannot afford too many units now, thanks to him not having uh, tier ones anymore. And he he's going for an Oathbreaker cell. And they get more king ups as well. So if this leak isn't it's, massive, yeah, they won't even get much damage done. Asaria tanking just perfect. It was four creeps if I saw it right. Well, it doesn't mm. it doesn't even look like it, it did harm for a second. But Vazir's not gonna hold here. Um, but I don't I don't but, see the send being big enough. Add the leak being big enough to actually yeah. make a difference. We have small leaks on Taikan as well, but the, the king is just gonna eat it up. And it's actually not looking that bad for Vazir because of the magician. And is Mr. Buzz holding? just fifty percent to no send. Oh, by the look way. at this! And Vazir is actually holding here. Wow! Um, but he got—I mean, he got a very the the send wasn't the best. So the pack leader was no. a really nice decision. Mole Hermit were kind of useless. There's no AOE damage. Just decide to go for anything else. An ogre, you can go for brutes. Drake, anything, but I don't I don't see Mole Hermit being the play and actually this this can be now surrendered. Like this is it. This is I think the mole I think mole is okay, but I think Hermit does nothing. But you can just um, do so much more with two hundred than with AD. Yeah. So that's why I thought you can like change both units. And like this is this is actually the situation where you can surrender not why when you still have the chance of a race on 11. And just look at the workers and the income and everything. It's it's very, very favored to Toykan and Vazir is. now. Toykan and Vazir both on a lot of shutdown. Toykan even 75. Like well, They really have to do one more clutch hold and then they have to do like two cents where Toykan and Vazir are leaking big. To make them actually yeah. die. I mean, they need to send 14, I guess, but they just don't have any Mythium. It needs to be something like 14 into 16, I think. So, there there could be the, the play. I don't know if they will do it, if they do it. But best play would be Barrage sending on Toycan to try to get the shutdown. While Mr. Bus is just going for income send or even for full king. This could be a play yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to have them stay in game. Um, but so far, it's not looking good. Toy can shut down up to 100 now, oh, by the no. way. But something with the gold is not right here. So it's not possible. Toy can and Vasi are only 200 gold ahead. While they're around same value, even even bigger value, and a lot more workers. So something with this yeah. gold tier is is wrong. Um, they're actually far ahead, probably over one and a half k. Yeah, yeah. This game is is looking pretty one sided at the moment. It is. It is. Sadly, uh, I was really hoping for a comeback, maybe, uh, but maybe this is it. Um, Mr. Barash Bus... Nicole can hold here. Barash can't hold here. Maybe. No way. If they manage to get the double shot down, that's something as well. It is. Mr. Buzz is actually the one that might be holding. Because there's still is a there Trinity Archer well? that is not tanking too much. Asaria is tanking perfectly this time. Yeah, very nice. Uh, very nice. I it's going to there. get another spell, so he's almost holding. While I s oh no oh no he was on thirteen oh, plus he mana was. There, and he? now they're only getting the fifty shutdown on Vazir which is better than nothing yeah. but still they won't get <laughs> the king uh, king damage while yeah, they yeah. receive king damage and oh, the gosh. power score balance is just going to shift even more after this yes, wave as is, well it is um. Well, I gotta be honest. I don't. I don't see any way at the moment where Barrage and Mr. Bus can actually make this work, unless Toycan and Varsi are suddenly starting to send income every wave now. Yeah, or I if they just I, decide I not to build on one wave yes. or something like that. I that see might no help, way but... for them to make this, unless they're like fucking it up four waves after another.
Yeah, that mega save into the 12th send. That was awful. It just, it just wasn't worth it. They starved themselves so it was, hard. It was 10 for sure. Like, Barrage was able to send 260, 280, something like this on 10, while Toycan was awful and low value. So that was such a huge leak, uh, huge leak potential. It would have maybe been up to 50% king, um, which would be perfect timing for them to... to get more gold and get a little bit out of this pressured situation they were in. But 12 was just not good enough. They just got out income uh, They did send on a wave where Vali was not too bad. Even, even though he did the, the, the LOD. Um, well, and now they're yeah, even leaking heck. to no sense. Yeah, I mean, their economy is just shot yeah, at this point, isn't it? They're 20 workers down, by the way. Yeah, it's it's looking pretty rough, dude. It's looking pretty rough. Well, sands are coming out. I don't see Mr. Buzz or Barrage holding. While I actually do see Vazir holding, maybe he has he has the magician haters. Later on, that this will even be a star color magician haters. So, a lot of a lot of power spawning every but few Tolkien seconds. Token can definitely hold here as well with his alpha males mm, and his yes. lioness. He can, he He's can, the Zen is not tanks. big enough. Zen and if the Azaria not... manages to tank like a quarter of the wave, it's just perfect. Mm. Yeah, Titan's just making it so good uh, of a unit here. It just can tank two more units, uh, which is perfect. Uh, yeah, the GGs are already called by Mr. Buzz. He knows there's no chance for them to hold here. Um, he tries really hard, three Trinity Archers, but he does not have enough tanks. And that's what I mentioned, wave one already, his tank situation looking really bad. Uh, and if you don't have tanks with Osaria, or especially with the Trinity Archers, there's not a lot you can do. And this is it, yeah. Toycan and Vazir ah, are actually man. making it to the finals. Well, well played, Tolkien and Vizier. I and mean, you can't take it away from them. They played really well they this played series. Really good. Super solid, very nice calls, almost no mistakes. Was really nice to watch. Uh, 